Vietnam internal election set for December 4th. Murder in Mova, one man dead, two children, including a nine-year-old, also shot. Police to go back to old blue and gray uniforms to make it harder for criminals to masquerade as cops. And internationally, cost of living continues to rise in the UK with fears that many will face a winter of despair. And now the news in detail. Chairman of the People's National Movement, Finance Minister Colm Imbert, has confirmed that the party is gearing up for its internal election set for December 4th. Imbert explained that several leadership posts, including that of political leader, will be up for grabs as many have expressed interest in being prospective candidates. The minister said the application process for new members will begin on August 24th and a preliminary list will be published on September 10th. He also indicated that for people who are unable to reach the polls at the party's convention on December 4th, a special voting is carded on November 26th and 27th. Minister Mr. Imbert said that campaigning will be guided by COVID-19 protocols. One man was shot and killed last night at Thompson Trace, Romaine Lands in Movar. During the incident, a 9-year-old child was also shot in the head and the other, an 11-year-old, was shot in the leg. They were all taken to hospital, however, the man was declared dead on arrival. He was identified as Isibo Roberts. Police are now trying to determine how bullets recovered from recent murder scenes carry the markings of two of the country's defense force agencies. The bullets were used in the murders of Roseanne Granger of Chinapu Village, Mova, and a Cory Mason of Bagatel Road, San Juan, in Aranguas Tuesday morning. The shell casings bore the markings TTAG on them, representing the TNT Air Guard. The ammunition were 5.56 millimeter bullets usually used in high powered weapons such as air. 15s. Meanwhile, police also found spent shells belonging to the Trinidad and Tobago Regiment at the scene of the killing of Jamal Waldron. Asked to comment on this, Acting Police Commissioner MacDonald Jacob said the police were investigating the matter. And the Acting Police Commissioner says the TTPS will go back to the old blue and grey uniforms to make it harder for criminals to masquerade as police officers. The top cop admitted that the TTPS has observed a trend within recent weeks where criminals were putting on clothing and uniforms resembling that of the TTPS and carrying out roadblocks and even committing murders. He indicated to the public that we would see a return of the blue and grey uniforms during special exercises, which will be one way to reassure the public. Saharan dust has returned to Trinidad and Tobago with a moderate surge currently moving across the region, according to the Trinidad and Tobago Met Service. However, the Met Service says there will be a gradual reduction in Saharan dust concentrations from today. According to the Met Office's Saharan dust and air quality forecast found on their website, the air quality index is now forecast to be at good levels through the next five days beginning today. Internationally, as the cost of living continues to rise, there is a warning that one in four people in the UK won't be able to pay their energy bills in October based on current forecasts. Charity group Citizens Advice added that some 3.2 million disabled people and 4.4 million families with children won't be able to afford autumn's predicted rise in energy bills and will end up almost £100 a month in the red. The charity group says its warning takes into account the energy rebate and cost of living payments already being offered by the government, showing that increasing costs are outstripping the government's support. It is calling for further interventions from government, as well as asking energy regulator Ofgem to ensure people are protected from the most serious consequences of falling into arrears. The organization's CEO said there is a risk of a winter of despair for millions if further support is not provided by government. Meanwhile, people are being urged not to turn off their fridges in order to save money on their fuel bills. The chief executive of the UK Health Security Agency says she has heard of households doing this to cut down on costs, but warned it creates the risk of infection in food. And that was the 4 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online, Facebook, and YouTube on Iowa TV. Recapping the headlines, PNM internal election set for December 4th. Murder in Mova, one man dead, two children, including a nine-year-old, also shot.
police to go back to old blue and gray uniforms to make it harder for criminals to masquerade as cops and internationally cost of living continues to rise in the UK with fears that many will face a winter of despair. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas, Miss Aisha Wells, the Queen of Talk. She's up next.